Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I have a Dolly Tree haul for you and I just want to give you a heads up that it is a lot, there are a lot of items in here that are more for birthday party oriented and loop bags. So let's just get started with some things that I kind of rebought because I thought they would be super cute for loop bags and that was the um, I Believe in Unicorns and it has little sequins inside and then No Drama Llama. So my daughter really liked them and thought they would be cute to add to the loop bag. So I have like some of the bath bombs. Anyways, let's get on in it, into it. She is personalizing most of her little goodie bags. She picked her color at Michael's. Um, she picked a really nice turquoise bag and then um, some shiny tissue paper and stuff. I let her pick it because she's at that age where it's like if I buy certain things, sometimes they're just well mom she'll she'll be okay with it but I just wanted to give her that option of having she's very involved when it comes to making loop bags um, Easter bags anything for school she always does all the work I just kind of guide her and help her a little bit with tying sometimes so anyways the loop bag stuff she's picked out she has certain people who like certain things that she knows about so we got some Shopkins um, two sticker sheets and 12 play pages a little Shopkins kit with the little topper erasers and little pencils and then a little sticker book and we did buy some things like this for Easter for family members so when she saw them she thought of somebody who would really like this in their little loot bag so that was that there. And there's some food items for putting in the loot bags uh, were the little lucky charms now we only found one box of these so I'll have to take a look maybe at Walmart they come with five bars and it looks like it's just a lucky char charms marshmallow typed treat yep shapes and colors may vary this is my husband's kind of granola topping uh, this bag sells for $4.99 at Walmart I'm not kidding $4.99 so this was a fantastic find I bought one bag a couple weeks back he he liked it didn't complain it is cashew and dark chocolate based I guess he'll pull the dark chocolate because he's not a big fan of having chocolate for breakfast um but this is your regular 317 grams that you find at walmart so i bought two bags and there aren't very many left so take a look on your shelves at your dollar tree this was another awesome find like how these are going to easily run me 2.99 plus at walmart as well they're the wheat thins so i thought for get togethers and for the birthday i can put them out with some little celery sticks and a little bit of hummus dip or something like that and so I bought two bags of that and the girl said these were flying off the shelf really really quickly toasted pita garlic I'm not sure if everyone will love them but you know what we won't have very good breath but they look delicious and then for her birthday party I brought I bought these these are the flips I don't think they sell these at Walmart they're I, I think that these are more of just a Dollar Tree find. Milk chocolate covered pretzels, they're 120 grams. And I still think it's a better deal than when I go to Bulk Barn. My son likes to go to Bulk Barn and buy some little chocolate covered ones and some of the, what is it called, um, yogurt covered pretzels. And I think I've easily paid $3. And we only come home with a tiny little handful in a baggie. So I'm really, I think, happy with the value of these little packages. And they taste delicious. I really like them. They taste good. They're not... They're not stale, they're not bad tasting, the chocolate is good, and I am a bit of a chocolate snob, so these are, I approve, I approve. Okay, so a couple other items. I don't know if you've watched, but I've been, I did a really cute glam tray for her birthday on the channel, I think it was like last week that I posted, and it's got all these little, it's mirrored, and all these little gems and jewels, and I made a vase, but for her birthday, I because I'm doing like the whole glam, Thing, I bought these as well keep everything in the same line the glam the mirrored and so I was going to use these as well to put some things out just to make it look pretty maybe even use that as like the nail polish they want to do facial scrubs nail polish it uh, they want to apply nail polish so anyways at least I'll have some trays to put on my little rolling cart and then that way everything is in unison oh I bought some these are like my favorite these are for me um, and my my son loves them lotus biscoff uh these actually are the ones that you'll see often well at least air canada they serve two in a pack and they taste delicious with your coffee or tea i love these cookies and so every time i see them at dollar tree i always buy one as a little treat for myself so that is for me and for everett and then tons of loop bag goodies so uh we got little troll 
lip balm. So that one will go in lip, lip smackers. Now the only thing we didn't score was there wasn't there weren't duplicates of things. So this one here is cotton candy. But like how cute is this? And they were like one of each that was hanging, which was kind of disappointing when we were picking things out. But there's a lip smacker. Uh, this one is Tropical Punch. I think I'm going to film them out on a little table so you guys can have a better look. This one was cool. Coca-Cola Lip Smacker. But it was... Oh, it has a cherry. So there's the cherry. And then the last time we had gone... Actually, I don't know if I pulled it to the side to show you. To show you. Anyways, in the previous haul, I had a Coca-Cola. And it was the actual original Coca-Cola. So... That was pretty cool to find that one. And then we got this one, which is really pretty. This one is watermelon. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, watermelon. And it's it's actually like a shimmered. So I got that. And then, of course, she wanted the, the bath bombs for her so, uh, for her loop bags. And she's used a couple of them and has been happy with them. So we got a little cupcake. I'll film these as well. A mermaid tail. So there's like a mermaid tail, mermaid tail. We got a little bath bomb, which is just the ball and a pineapple and another little lip smacker that one is just a regular kind of glossy one got another little mermaid tail and that was it for the little bath bombs and then we got little treats to go into the more as a little like food item but um sorry bulk and individually wrapped so we got these little what are they called double lollies they're like little pops and then i got these here and I'm gonna separate those. And these are the unicorn themed and they have the little horns. So they come with six in a pack. One, two, it has a rainbow as well. Four, five, yeah, six in each pack. So that's perfect because one will go, I will separate these. They're all individually packaged in plastic wrap, which is fabulous. And so I will separate them and put them all into the little bags. I got this for me. Twizzlers, these were all brand new. There was cherry and raspberry. To be honest with you, I already opened the raspberry one and demolished it. So I hope the cherry is just as tasty, but the raspberry, I actually enjoyed it. They are soft, so soft and chewy, and I'm known to leave my Twizzlers open to go stale and hard because I like them better when they're hard. So Scarlett kept saying to me, Mom, these are chewy. They're not going to be your favorite. But as soon as I harden them up, oh my gosh, so good. Who else does that? Does anyone else like them when they're hard? I, twizzlers, like the long twizzlers, I like when I leave them out and then, then the next day eat them because they taste so much better. I'm weird. She also picked up these little pencil erasers to go in the little loop bags and then we got some pencils. So those were made by Crayola. These are not. So this one here is like a little Blue Jay pack and this is not very common to, to be found. There is a, the zebra and they usually come out around this time uh, for baseball season and then we got these ones here because they were all colorful and rainbowy and she thought they would be fun to put in we also picked up Laffy Taffy because they're all individually wrapped and there is enough here for one each in a little loop bag these I picked up for Everett he loves to have okay so he's into video games and he loves to have he asked me to, um, he's so, he's so cute. He's like, can we go to Bulk Mart, Mom? I think because the older video gamers, they do this. They have like little snacks in their room. So we went to Dollarama and we picked out little containers and he set it up on his desk in the, in the corner. And so he put like a little bit of gummies, a little bit of pretzels, some chips and popcorn. And I was like, I'm, I'm fine with it, whatever. You know, he's only little once and... I'm sure this is going to be an ongoing thing as he gets older as well where he's going to want snacks but so i thought you know what why not the, i i love gummies i love candy so he's you know at that age where he'll have a few i'm not going to let him put the whole package in there because i'm afraid he'll probably demolish them all but he can have a couple little cherries and mom will probably eat a bunch of them too and i got sour cream now i've never seen these at dollar tree i don't normally pay attention to the candy stuff this is something obviously as a, a birthday party loop bag time i was walking down there and being more careful as you probably notice i don't really film the candy aisle in my haul shop with me now that i'm thinking about it i should do that a little bit more for you guys i know that i don't gravitate towards the candy aisle i try to stay away from it unless i pick up a package of twizzlers but maybe I should focus on filming that for you guys because these are new to me. 120 grams. I've never seen these packages. I don't know. It's called the Gummy Zone. Totally. And this is right up my alley because I love gummies. 
so there was that and then um as we were oh and scarlet picked out these little hershey eggies in the easter area just for herself and i said sure no problem she's been good and didn't eat them so there they are and i picked up a couple more of these for myself actually they didn't have many more of the chocolate uh hot chocolate they had a lot of the spiced pumpkin pie but not a lot of these left so these must have gone quickly my husband likes them as well as a little on the go kind of put it in the car if you're starving this is way more filling than a package of Twizzlers. <laughs> and then um, a couple more fuzzy things and I think we're almost done here. So this was a new find and I thought it would look really cute with the Shopkins uh, package that I've put together for Easter. So this is three pairs of socks. Cute little Shopkins prints. Oh, and it looks like they even say something. Cookie 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 and Shopkins was so popular for a while are if you're if you have little ones or grandchildren are they still into Shopkins or are they completely out of style and dated and nobody's into them anymore I'm not sure it's hard to follow sometimes the little trends okay so some girly things that I could not leave behind and totally gave Scarlett freedom to buy all the things this one is for me I love purple purple is my favorite color although I'm always in dark colors but I love this color and I thought you know what look how pretty the palm is it's got this like ombre effect to it the tips are white and then the inside is purple I had to have it this is going with my little collection of I have my mermaid tail my gem and now this one now I'm falling into the novelty of pens at Dollar Tree this is absolutely nuts and then Scarlett uh, picked I think the teal one is for her she picked this for her backpack these are brand new and super cute and then she picked the little pink one I think for her friend to put in her loot bag her bestie so their little besties I guess will have their little matching hearts and then I think one of her other little besties has something else that's special amongst here and I'm not sure what it was and then I purchased this for her as well isn't this gorgeous absolutely stunning it has a um, metal iridescent feel to it it is so pretty I wish it was deeper so that you could like you know have your makeup brushes or your pens really standing up just a little deeper and a little narrower would have been gorgeous but this will look really pretty with a succulent in it a flower or even just little trinkets like you know hair ties little things that us girls have but anyways until next time everyone i hope you guys enjoyed this haul it was super quick and i know a lot of loot bag oriented kind of junky food but hey once in a while it's okay until next time everyone have a wonderful day bye for now mm -hmm.